year after the last truck rolled out of the General Motors plant in Moraine, city officials say the building may see new life. Sonu Wasu spoke with the city manager today. She is live and on your side with a look at the prospects. Michelle Megan, how do you sell four million acres of land in a tough economy? Now that is just one big challenge Moraine city leaders have been dealing with, in addition to budget problems, layoffs, and a deficit of more than five million dollars. Yes, we've taken a pretty sharp hit, and I think that we see some good things in the offing and the future, and I, I believe that we'll prosper and grow from here forward. The closing of the General Motors plant had a big ripple effect for the city of Moraine. A higher rate of unemployment meant less tax revenue. The city had to lay off 28 full-time positions and put workers on furlough. Most of our employees have agreed to take a 10 percent pay cut and that is uh, really going to help us get through this time. They also decided to close Splash Moraine. The public pool was draining the city's budget. What may not be so obvious is the effort taking place behind the scenes to get the city out of troubled waters. An economic study funded mostly through grants that will help identify prospective investors to buy this property. So they'll give us the names of specific companies that we should be targeting. So we'll be going after them. We'll be trying to recruit them to the area. And a year later, city officials officials are happy to report developers are taking an interest in the former GM plant. One of them is Downey, California-based IRG, a company known to invest in former assembly plants. And we contacted them directly, uh, talked to their CEO, persuaded him to come out and take a look at the building, the General Motors assembly plant. They were interested in the building and may perhaps buy it. Another possible developer is Covington Capital, responsible for renovating the old Cooper Tire building on Dryden Road. While the uh, GM assembly plant is vacant now, when it's reoccupied, we believe we'll be uh, stronger because we'll have a more diversified workforce. And as for Splash Moraine, it will remain closed this summer, but city officials say they will reevaluate plans at the end of the season. Reporting live, Sonu Wasu, 2 News on your side. Citizens.